the Lacey Hour here with Umthar Movement. I want to bring a video to you guys. Um, today we're going to be um, talking about the spirit realm, bringing you um, another part in it. Um, before we get into it, let's get into a quick word of prayer. Father God, we thank you for all you have done, Father God. We thank you for all you're going to do, Father God. We thank you for Jesus, Father God. We thank you for your knowledge, Father God. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for your Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, come in right now. Help us to hear you. Help us to know what you want to say. Let the people hear what you want them to hear. And let the speaker say what you want him to say. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alright, so um, um, a quick um, a quick rehash of what we talked about in the uh, first video. The intro, we talked about fear and faith, the two systems. Um, fear being the... Um, being the system that the enemy like to use, and then faith being what God uses. So we want to um, expound on that right here, and then um, get into understanding the 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 how how to war against the 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 the, the, the enemy system. So that's gonna probably be in the next video, understanding the war. But right now we want to get into more understanding the systems, right? So we're going to be in Matthew chapter 6. And we're going to be around um, around 7, and we're going to go from there. Um, this is the model prayer, and this is Jesus um, saying that we should be wanting the kingdom of heaven to reign in, reign in our lives. I do believe that the kingdom of heaven has to reign in our lives for us to make it in heaven. I do believe that we have to mold ourselves into um, into what heaven is. And we can do that by the Spirit of God, right? And Jesus made that possible by going to the cross and being rose from the dead. All right, so um, we're in Matthew 6 um, and 7. And this is Jesus telling his, just talking to his disciples, um, to explaining to them how to pray. It says, uh, not disciples, actually this is a part of the Sermon on the Mount, I'm sorry, part of the Sermon on the Mount. But it says, but when ye pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathens do. For they think that they shall be heard for their uh, much speaking. But, not, but be not ye therefore like unto them when ate. For you shall know the uh, know the what the things ye have needed of. For the Father shall know what the things you have needed of before you ask them. After this manner, therefore, pray, pray ye, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So that is we're going, we're going to cut it there. On earth as it is in heaven. Jesus is telling us to ask the Father to make our lives, mold our lives how it is in heaven on earth. So how this ties into the spiritual realm? It's simple. The Bible calls the Satan and, and, and the principalities and all these demonic spirits the, 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 the prince of the air, Right? These are the spirits that goes in and, and, and really run things. That, that that are these are the spirits that enter in people to do evil. People doesn't see we we've been taught that this life is so fleshly, like they doing evil because there's a problem, right? They doing evil because they're hurting inside. When we dig deep. All these things that all anything that evil happen is because of a demonic spirit enter into them, enter enter into them, whether it be through lust, right? Because we don't understand this this, this, this spiritual realm, it, it affects our physical realm, right? So if we always lusting in the spirit, it's gonna manifest in our spirit realm. If we always lusting. In the spirit realm, it's gonna manifest it to the fleshly realm, and it's so many ways that it can manifest. Like many people say, well, rape don't happen because of people looking at porn. Rape happened because of this and that. No, it's 
rape happen in more cases than not because a person is spiritually into lust. And the way the spirit lust manifests itself is in a fulfilling of an urge physically, right? I want to fulfill this urge physically, and if I can't do it this way, I'm going to do it that way. And I don't care what length I, I go to. That's why... You know, when I post a lot about um, pornography, you know, I, I, I post a lot about the dangers of pornography. And people will say, well, nah, man, you tripping, man. Um, ain't nothing wrong with a little porn, man. Porn helps you have sex better. Porn do this, porn do that. And it's a lie from the enemy that they they have bought into to justify they having porn and their spiritual man. I mean, their spiritual man gets satisfied that way. And it's not just porn; it's any sin, right? We can we can see a, a, a sin like um, stealing, right? Um, when a person wants something so bad. That they're going to do what any means necessary to get it. Right? It, it, it's that covetousness. Um, um, wanting something. You know, it, it's, it's that strong desire that that, is, that if it's not handled correctly, it's going to manifest itself into stealing. Right? Um, you, you, you don't see, you don't hear often people stealing stuff like bread or food. Right? People say, what if somebody hungry and they steal something? You, 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 that is out there, but it's not out there. Like, we will see if a person would go into somebody's house and take something. Because they have a need that they want to fulfill. And they think by taking it from somebody else, it can fill it. Instead of going and get that need taken care of. So it's a spiritual, every, every sin that we deal with is a spiritual battle. Right, and if we have our spiritual man corrected, if we have our spiritual man in checked, then we wouldn't commit these sins. Um, I was reading, um, I was reading on um, the Book of Psalms, and I think it's in Psalm thirteen, and it was talking about how the 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 the, the people that did evil. They didn't have good inside of them. Their heart wasn't good, right? That that their heart was wicked. Their heart was evil. They wanted to do evil stuff. And in their spirit man, the spirit man was never controlled, contained, or discipled, or disciplined. When we us Christians, we are called to discipline ourselves, right? We're called to pick up our cross and die daily. If I want this, I just can't get it because I want it, right? Because when I get give my when I give myself in the flesh everything that I want in my spiritual man, he's getting weak and he's getting more per perverse and, and and getting more greedy and it's gonna lead to sin. And the enemy knows this. The enemy knows this. That's why Jesus knew this too, and Jesus tried to tell the people. You want what's in heaven and not what's on this earth. Because all the things that are in heaven are good for you. They're good for you in the physical and they're good for you in the mental. Right? I mean, I'm sorry, in the spiritual and in the mental as well. But in the spiritual and the physical is good for you. Right? So, we look at, 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 at the gifts of God. All the gifts of God are from heaven and you you and you can use them here and it'll be good for you right on uh, the fruits of the spirit cuz you got to remember the holy spirit dwelled in heaven dwells in heaven as well as in us it is the very spirit spirit of god so he knows what's going on in heaven he knows how good it is in heaven that's why the bible tells us to walk into the the the, the fruit of the spirit Right, so it, 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 it's walking in the fruit of the spirit. All the things that are that are walked in in heaven, or you can walk in the lust of the flesh. All the things that are that that was walked in heaven and got the enemy kicked out of, or all the things that's walked here that's gonna make your flesh, I mean your spirit, man, more 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 perverted, more more. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? More perverted, more to um more um. More demonic, more I, I still can't think of the word I'm looking for, but it's gonna make it's gonna make your spirit man 
lean more to the evil side than the good side. So we have to understand some of the most powerful prayer we can make is on earth as it is in heaven. The principle of on earth as it is in heaven is I don't want to live like this world. I don't want this world. I don't want the things of the world. It's cool if I use the things of the world to, 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 to advance the gospel, to even make my life just a little bit simpler, but not depend on it to make my life better. And that's one, oh my goodness, Lord, thank you for this. That's one thing that we're doing right now in, in, inside the church, inside the body of God. We're looking for earthly things. We're looking for a fleshly fleshly things to make our lives easier and better instead of looking in spirit and, and using the things in, 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 in inside the spirit of God to make our th- make our lives easier and better, right? So for example, I have a bunch of, for example, if I had a bunch of bills that I couldn't pay. Or if I had a bunch of bunch of um um people I owe and I would say, well, you know what? I, I owe these people, and I need to to pay these people. Then I should be looking into the spirit realm and see what 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 what's going on, right? Because I, I I know for a fact there was a time where I had so much stuff. I was getting paid a lot more money, and I was converting that into more stuff. And the more stuff was the more bills, right? And it was it was me being in the flesh saying I want this I want that to make my life easier, instead of now I look at my life and say okay I, I walk with the, I walk in the spirit, the things that 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 make my make my life easier I know that may not may not be necessary for me, so the things that I use to make my life better now is is the things of the spirit like um, walking in peace, walking in love joy. Walking in uh, 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 um, uh, um, self uh, self uh, um, self obedience. Or, 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 um, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm sorry, it's like three o'clock in the morning as I do this video. But walking in self control, <laughs> all these things. As where when I was walking in the lust, I was walking in. Oh, I want I want a house. I want a car. I want a pool. I want the, the nicest TV. I want to be able to go on vacation. And I would have to go out there and kill myself to be able to afford this, to afford these things. And a lot of people are missing what it is to be in, in, in what it means to be on earth as it is in heaven. It doesn't mean that we're gonna find heaven here, but it means we can have a bit, we can have bits of heaven to help us get through here. Heaven, bits of heaven like um, peace, love, joy. We can have that. But long as we walk in the flesh trying to fulfill those things, we'll never get them. So we got to understand the principle of on earth as it is in heaven. Thank you, Holy Spirit. That, that, that That's something that the church really needs to pick up. Because this whole, the whole thing of we're going to the gospel and, and we can make it say, well, we should be rich here. Or, or we should be super comfortable here. When you, when you, when you go through when you go through the word of God, I don't see that. I don't see that when he when I look at his disciples. I don't see that when I looked at Jesus when he said foxes and uh, foxes have homes and dens or holes or whatever. He said the son of man don't have nowhere to lay his head. I don't see comfortability uh, uh, um, with fleshly things. I seen Jesus and his disciples being comforted by the Spirit of God. I seen Jesus praying and saying, on earth as it is in heaven. I seen the disciples doing the same thing. I don't see them asking for, 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 for comfort here. And I think that we have to get over that. And I think a lot of our um, uh, problems in the spiritual realm is caused by our want for stuff in the fleshly realms and not having a want for heaven. Not having on earth as it is in heaven as our biggest saying. Now, uh, Lord, I need a house. I need a place to. No, no, no. On earth as it is in heaven, Father. Hallelujah. Um, that that that's talking to me as well. Well, you see the screen. I ask you to like, subscribe for more video, comment for community. Um. And, 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 and to strive for more of um, this series, check this whole series out. I really believe it's going to help you guys. I really do. I thank you. I love you, and I'm praying for you. The Lacey Hall, I'm Third Movement.